everybody, this is Ajo Kimchi. I'm here with a quick five minute or so video just to show you this new game I've picked up on my phone. It's called Flora of the Darkness. It's on Android. I'm not sure if you can get it on other platforms, but I will have a look into this and let you know in the comments below. So basically it's just your typical tap to jump game, as it says at the bottom. You get to a gap, you jump. Simple as that. Now the aim of the game is just to get through the levels as they get harder with more obstacles in the way and to avoid these big lovely black blobs also known as the darkness. If you do jump into the darkness it will incinerate you. Um, I will show you what I mean. Um, I'll just wait for the next level to whack up. So yeah if you jump into the darkness that happens. Luckily it does start you just back at the beginning of the level. Later on in the later levels you do actually um, get to the point where you can run past certain trees. You'll definitely notice them. They're called the trees of life. And then if you hit the darkness then you'll just get teleported back to the last tree that you actually ran into. Um, you can get to a point where you die too many times and then you will have to start sending or spending should I say your blue energy drops which you collect in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now I have obviously played this a bit already just to see what it was like so I'm just running through the first few lower levels so you get an idea. Now I do know that many people I know aren't very keen on these sort of tap games. Um, myself personally, I have three or four of them on my phone and I do quite enjoy them. I find that they um, are quite handy for, say, if I'm out and about and I'm waiting a long queue or if I'm waiting to pick someone up or anything like that, I just whack up my phone and I can give a couple of levels quickly. As you can see, the levels aren't actually too long, so it is quite ideal for that. You may have seen that I've run by... Um, some pink presents a few times. Uh, the point of them is basically that. Oh, oh! Quickly, this is one of the annoying things: the fact that the game has adverts in. But luckily, you can qu skip them quite fast. Oh yeah. Anyway, back to these pink presents. Um, basically, what they're for is you can jump on them or click and collect them, whatever you need to do when you're near them and it gives you the option here's one quick I'll show you so it gives you the option to claim some extra energy so that one's okay uh, most of the time though when you come past the pink presence you can claim up to I think it's something up to 40 or 50 extra energies but the catch is you obviously have to watch an advertisement the advertisements run anything from five seconds up to a couple of minutes so I don't really bother collecting them unless I'm very low on my energy and I decide that I'll stop for one or two. I'll just do a couple of more levels so you get a bit more of an idea how it gets. If you did watch my first, which is also my last, video on mobile games then you'll see that I actually used it as an opportunity to test out my software on my phone and test out the recording and the sound to see what it was like because I wasn't really too sure whether I wanted to do PC gaming as well as mobile gaming but the video actually did turn out quite okay really the sound was good Oops, <laughs> the sound was good, the quality of the video was quite good, so I have actually decided that I will um, continue to do mobile games. So that's a plus. Obviously though, the mobile games will be a lot shorter videos than the PC gaming ones. I can't actually remember what level I just did, so I'll just try and do the one on one now. 
so I'll give this a quick go and then I shall be on my way as it is half past one in the morning already. Oh, God. As you can see, the further you go through the game, the more and more of the darkness appears. Um, I've not got any further than this level, so I can't really say what sort of quantity of it will be further on in the game, but it does just seem that the further you go, then, you know, the more it appears, the harder it makes it for you. As you can see, I just respawned at a tree of life that I went by, like I said earlier. So that's quite handy. The thing I have noticed about this game that I actually adore is the um, little girl that's running. Whenever she runs or jumps, I absolutely love how they decided to well, animate, I guess, her hair going behind her. Right. So I'll give this one more go. But... I do find um, I've had to turn the music down in the settings of the game quite a lot. Because one thing is that the, <laughs> the sound is actually very loud especially if you're recording the game it's um very overpowering it's very uneven as well like you'll have a lot of very quiet parts actually pretty much most of the game's quiet but then all of a sudden you'll get a part that just goes really really loud and i wasn't very keen on that so i have turned the music down very low so I do apologise if you can't really hear the music in this video. But obviously I won't know until I take it to editing anyway. So there's our next tree of life. Right, so I'll call it a day there anyway. You've seen and got the rough idea of what the game's like. I will possibly do another video of this later on. Um, I'm not too sure yet though because obviously it's not exactly fun just watching someone run and jump all the time. Anyway, I'll see, speak to you all soon and thank you for watching this video. Bye everyone! <laughs>